All right, well, let's get started. I think that as folks jump on, then we can we can do some Q&A. Uh, thanks everyone for, for attending um, to hear a little bit more about the Goff Trailblazers class. I'm Ruchi Watson. I'm the Managing Director of the Goff Strategic Leadership Center and the instructor for the Goff Trailblazers class. Um, so I'm gonna, as I said, take you through a little bit of an overview on what the class is, but I don't wanna spend too much time. And then let some of our current students introduce themselves um, and answer some questions about the class and any questions that you have. So again, appreciate the time. I know this has just been an odd year, odd semester, and there's a lot going on, uh, but hopefully this will help you make any decisions about applying if you haven't applied yet for those who are watching this after the fact, um, or, you know, just give you a sense of what you're, you're up, you know, up for if you've already applied and are in it. So I'm going to share my screen and share a little bit about the class. Let me know if you can see that. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Um, so let's talk about, so the Gotcha Lasers class is a, in a course that's in the Department of Entrepreneurship and Strategy, technically, because our academic departments are the ones that have courses. So if you're an entrepreneurship major or minor that is here today or watching, it does count as an elective for your major or minor, um, but it's affiliated with the Goff Strategic Leadership Center. So if you're familiar with centers and institutes on campus, like the Lassonde Institute or the Benyon Center, these are our te technically entities that get to kind of play around outside of the core colleges that we have. So we get to focus on strategic leadership. And so without going into great detail, what is that? I mean, there are so many types of leadership. You may have heard about that servant leadership or empathetic leadership or transformational leadership. And we think that leadership is great, but often talks about the individual, like what kind of leader am I or how do I lead with other people, but doesn't necessarily talk about what you're leading. And if the thing that you're leading isn't a very good thing, then you can be the best leader on the planet and you're not probably creating the value that you want to create. So that's where the strategy component comes in. And if I'm really honest, we have one of the best strategy departments in the country, um, which you wouldn't necessarily know, but we honestly have some of the best faculty, including Jay Barney. I don't know if you've all heard of Jay Barney, but he's one of our faculty affiliates in the center and he's the most cited faculty member on this campus. So if that gives you an idea, we've got some pretty incredible people that are sort of backing everything that's happening here at Goff. And the reason why we care about that strategy and leadership is that we just want people to be successful and to be able to maximize the impact that they have. So whether that's if you want to start a nonprofit, if you are a dancer, if you are a social worker, whatever that is, you know, people want to be good at what they do. They want to be successful. And by both taking that strategy, that strategic approach of what I should be doing and the leadership approach of how I should be doing it, we believe that you will maximize impact. And that's what makes us a little unique and different from where you might have heard or seen leadership otherwise in other places you've been, whether in high school or otherwise, is that strategic leadership we really feel will make a bigger difference in what you're doing. And if we're honest, most people will only talk about strategic leadership when they talk about C-level executives. Unfortunately, most people have not thought about strategic leadership as something that younger people can do. And at the Goff Strategic Leadership Center, we just think that's wrong. Frankly, we think that anybody can be a strategic leader, which is why we're bringing this class to undergraduates. Okay, so what do we do? Um, we think that you can learn best by doing, right? So real projects for real companies to get a real experience. So how it works is depending on who's in the class, I reach out and say, what are your interests? Tell me industry, functional area, you know, what do you want to do? And then I go out and try to find projects and speakers that meet those interests. So um, the students will talk about their projects. So I won't go into that but you will be working on essentially a real engagement, a real problem that a company has to solve it, not a case study, not something that they've carved out for you that they don't really care, it's not real. Um, it's something that you can put on your resume because it's, it's a real project. And then obviously we're gonna talk about strategic leadership because that's what we do. And I'm not gonna go through all these principles, but these are the topical areas that we touch upon. And these are things that can help you maximize impact 
in whatever you do going forward in your life. And so we have speakers that come and talk about these things every week. So when you think about it, the class is typically not that large. You're going to have probably 10 to 20 people in the class. So when you speak to CEOs or uh, managers, I mean, we get kind of a diverse group of people. And again, I think the panel will talk about this. You really get a chance to ask the questions that you want to ask and learn from them what you want to learn versus being in a big group of like 100 people where you may not be able to get your question answered. Not everyone is all about a little bit the softer skills of the strategic leadership and talking to the speaker. Some people want something a little more tangible to hold on to and think, what am I going to actually take with me and learn? So the other thing that I teach is what I call the project toolkit. I spent time in the corporate sector, the first half of my career at General Mills, at Target, at Bain & Company. I was in corporate strategy, marketing. Um, these are the things that I have learned that I actually utilize in my day to day as I've spent the last eight years leading strategic initiatives at the David Eccles School of Business. I use these things. They're tried and true. Uh, people use them all the time, but we somehow don't always spend time teaching students while you're here. But these are things you can really use and you get practice on in the class. Okay, so the details, basically open to anybody on campus. So if you're watching this, if you have friends that might be interested, please share. We do preference juniors and seniors just from an experience standpoint, um, knowing that having a couple years under your belt is generally helpful. But we also know that a lot of people get experience whether they're in high school or over the summer, so that's great too. Uh, we have three rounds for applications. So you may have seen an October 26 deadline that already passed, and then December 7th is our second one. And depending on how many applications we get and all that, we can take applications until January 10th, but we'll continue to communicate out about whether we're still gonna do that. And then I've included the, the application link for those who are interested. And for those of you who've done it, it's a few questions and some short answers. Um, we just wanna get to know you and your interests. So that's kind of it. That was a lot that I shared, but I don't wanna spend so much time on that. I'd really rather have our current students talk. So we have um, several students who are Goff Trailblazers right now. Uh, so I probably should have practiced this in what order we're going to do it, but we have Ethan Black, Caitlin Curtis, Layla Amador, and hopefully I'm not saying your name wrong, Layla, correct me if I am, and, and, and Russell G. And I'd love for you guys to introduce yourselves um, and then maybe talk a little bit about what you thought about the class. So just by order of where you are for me on my screen, Ethan, do you want to go first? Yeah, of course. Hey, every, hey, everyone. How's it going? My name is Ethan Black, and I'm currently a junior studying finance and minoring in management. And just from the course perspective, I mean, this may sound like pretty broad, but I haven't really taken a class that's been as impactful as the Golf Trailblazers class has been from experience that you gain or connections that you make and just the speakers you get to listen to. It's really, it kind of hits on all fronts and I'm just extremely grateful that I've been able to take this course and yeah, I've, I've learned a lot. And I'll pass it over to Caitlin. Hi everyone, um, my name is Caitlin Curtis and I am a junior studying finance. Um, golf has been awesome. Uh, just to kind of shortly summarize my personal experience, it's been really great to work on a project that's not just like with a fake company, like you're actually helping like a real company that's dealing with these problems. And so for me, it makes my work for it feel more like valuable, like what I'm doing. Um, and you're not really gonna find that in any classroom experience. Um, and we'll touch on other things as well, but in general, I think the real world application is what made this class so beneficial for me. Thanks, Caitlin. Layla? Hi, I'm uh, Layla. I'm a fourth year anthropology and linguistics student. Um, this has been actually my first business course, and I'm so glad that I chose this one because it's just been such an enriching experience overall, like actually working on a team for a semester length project. Um, my team personally has been working with um, a furniture company based out of New York, and we've had our, our main goal of the project was creating like an actual performance marketing like plan for them and seeing them actually apply our suggestions has been just really cool. So, yeah. 
Cool. And uh, my name is Russell. I am a senior studying finance. Um, I guess like something to know about like this class, like it is not like your traditional class. Like it's not even going to feel like a normal course that you would take at college. Like there's a reason why um, like Ruchi's taking all these initiatives to make sure like we're getting like the applications in early to like make sure like we know like what your interests are. Because she does a really good job at like catering the class to I guess what you guys want to learn. And she does this by like, again, like, I guess like crafting the skills and like picking like different companies to work with that might be of interest to you guys. And also like taking in like guest speakers. Like to me, like that was like <clears throat> one of the coolest things is like every single week we have a, a new guest speaker from like all these like different like companies, like just like within like Ruchi's network. Um, and they essentially teach you like these leadership skills that like you can in turn use like within your projects. and um like Layla and Caitlin were talking about like the projects like you it is like a semester long project and I think that's like pretty uncommon in college like you don't get a chance to like work with the team like throughout the whole semester and that like really teaches you guys to like have like a good like line of communication and like working together and like supporting each other because like at the end of the day like you guys are all like working towards a common goal and it's really cool to be like with like people who like want to be there too because I mean, I mean, that's like a big thing, like a lot of like group projects, like most people don't like them just because they don't have a good experience. But like with this class, like you'll get a good experience with that. Thanks, Russell. And just to throw this out there, I have a few questions prepared, but if any of you, we've got a small enough group, if any of you have questions, if you want to either physically raise your hand or use the Zoom, if you're familiar with that, you can go to participants and your name and and raise your hand. I'm happy to take questions because we can just kind of make this a conversation. So please don't be shy if you have questions of me or of the students at any point. Now I'm going to awkwardly pause and see if there are any questions right off the bat. Okay. Well, obviously one of the things that we want to do is to just kind of advance people's personal and professional development. And again, it could be whatever it is that you want to do. Um, I wonder if the panel could speak to how the class has furthered their goals and I'll just let you kind of whoever wants to jump in and we'll make it work since there's only four. I, I can jump in on this one. So just kind of like one of the like best benefits in my mind of the Trailblazer program is with the kind of experience you get with the companies you actually get tangible results. So as Caitlin was mentioning earlier, it's not a made up company, you know, ABC companies doing this. You're actually working and strategizing with a company and getting results that you can see. And it really gives you perspective of you can do these hard things. Like as a junior, a senior um, going to college, you're able to make an impact. And that perspective goes a long way, especially with a kind of confidence point of view as I go into applying for internships or in different classes that I'm currently taking, I have the confidence of knowing that I completed a, I'm doing a project right now that has a go-to market strategy for the University of Utah. And so it really just gives you perspective and a lot of, a lot of great benefits that come from it. I can also add, um, so I'm in my junior year recruitment season for internships. Um, and they ask you a lot of like uh, stories about tell me a time when you handled a problem on a team or tell me when you disagreed with someone. And the fact that I was in this class during that process, it gave me the opportunity to, oh, I have this experience right now. I have an example like right off the top of my mind. Um, that is usually, it's kind of hard too, because like if you don't have experiences to cite, you can't answer the questions. And so being in this class, you're constantly facing problems in your group project where you don't disagree, you don't agree with a teammate or um, you have to change your strategy because something came up that you didn't see coming before. And so for me, it was super useful in these interviews because I had real experience that I could actually use to answer these questions that would be really difficult. I can like piggyback off of that. Um, I know like Caitlin, she just got an internship at JP Morgan in New York. And um, I actually just got an internship with Goldman Sachs here in Salt Lake. And 
I'm I like started my application like at the beginning of the summer and I'm like really happy that it took so long for the process because like if it didn't take this long then I wouldn't have like the experience of this class like like Caitlin was saying like they ask you like a lot of behavioral questions like they want to know like how you are like in a team setting and like with this like like working like with like real life problems like with real companies like with your team like long term like you experience like all of these like I'll be like 75% of like the questions that I at, like were asked about teams like I drew like from this class like it's really important to like I guess like you like learn how to like I guess craft your like team dynamic to like make it so like what you want it to be like at the beginning of the semester we um I guess have a team contract you know and like we just like kind of like figure out like what we want to do and like throughout the semester like we're like constantly going back to that team contract and like changing it to like make sure it's like something that like we want it to be and at the end of the day like it really pays off this class has really like taught me a lot about myself and you know what i'm capable of accomplishing as well and i just um got an internship through um the hinckley institute for hope corps and i actually name dropped ruchi and i was like oh i'm in this the i'm in the goth strategic leadership course and he was like perfect because we need to figure out creative solutions for these small businesses and you know really just help them through this process of navigating covid so i think this course really helps to set you apart um because it actually you know tests you on all of these you know really useful abilities that you'll need to cultivate successfully in a workplace thanks Layla. congrats everyone on your jobs i knew about a couple of those uh, i get, i only have one really one for, final question which i think is sort of the main question is why why should students, if they're the ones on or the ones that are watching this afterward, why should they apply and do this program? Um, I can take this one um, just to start us off. So one thing I will say is with the online format, some teachers like have a hard time managing it or making the class feel productive. But with goth, like, I feel like I've actually been able to get something out of this. Like the speakers Richie brings in are incredible. And so for me, one of my favorite parts of this class is being able to hear from people who have such cool experiences. Like she'll bring in executives from like consulting groups such as like Bain and BCG. And then you'll also hear from people who went off and started their own company. And so I think when you're in your junior and senior year and you're just like trying to figure it out, it's so nice to listen to speakers who have been through it and you can ask them questions like half the time or like half of the time that's designated for these speakers is just like a q a for students and so like when would you ever have the opportunity to hear from like experienced professionals and just pick their brain and so on like the speaker side like the project is great like it's definitely challenging and you learn a ton but for me i think just being able to hear from like super successful people and they're just asking them like how they did it and getting their advice has been um, super rewarding and I haven't had that in any class so far in college except this one. Also like again like picking back off of like what Caitlin said like all, everybody like comes and like speaks with us like I guess like a common thing that they say is like I wish I knew this like when I was your age you know like being a strategic leader isn't something that like you're born with or like you just like learn it and all of a sudden like you're like a strategic, le strategic leader um it's like one of those things where it's like you're constantly developing yourself and i want to think we talked about is like being like a lifelong learner and like that totally applies to like developing like your skills to i guess be a strategic leader i mean there's so many different aspects of it um that are super useful in your life and also like you it is going to be like a smaller class i think we only had maybe like like 20 people somewhere around there and it's been like super useful because like right from the beginning, like all of us, like we like reached out on LinkedIn, we all connected every week, like we're like put out into breakout rooms so like we can get to know each other, like know each other's like feedback on like the readings and stuff. And it's honestly like, I've never gotten like so close to like my classmates before. And it's, I mean, it's like definitely paid off. Like I know like during like, like 
I guess the interview process for me like there were a couple like students like like my fellow classmates that like have gone through that interview process so like I was able to like use them as like resources to like help me I guess you know the trip so it's it's really great. I feel like I could go on for a long time with this question but I'll kind of just go off of what Caitlin and Russ were saying just with the speaker series it's really rare for a class where you get to hear from a top executive and then be able to apply that to the semester long project that you're working on. A lot of times it's you hear, you take notes and you forget about it the next week. The great thing about the Trailblazer program is it's attributes and lessons that you can immediately apply, apply to your group projects, such as how to work more effectively in teams or developing a shared vision. All these things that you can honestly try testing out things, measuring out things, where it's just it's really cool that you kind of have that opportunity where i can't think of any other course that allows you to do that and then to speak a little bit to uh, kind of um, russ's point on you know the peers and classmates like you're surrounded by fellow problem solvers and i mean look at me i'm surrounded by caitlin russ and um who have done jp who's jp morgan and goldman you're the people you're working with in these projects are going on to do great things. And so it kind of pushes you where you don't want to be kind of riding the wave. It, it encourages you to work really, really hard. And I mean, like there's re research out there that shows like 70% of your jobs in your future are not by job sites, but it's by the connections you make. And I honestly don't know a better kind of situation to be in than the Trailblazer program where you're surrounded, surrounded by your classmates. Like Russ was saying, there's 19 of us that you're actually able to develop a really close and interpersonal relationship with. And then the speakers, you're able to ask questions with and connect with them on LinkedIn right away. We actually had a speaker who was one of the heads of Striker, And immediately after he was done talking to us, he said, like, here, he gave us his email and said, reach out if you have any questions or need any help. And you're just allowed these opportunities, which are really going to, going to take you to, to new heights in your career or just in your professional development and then more or less development as a person as well. And honestly, I just think there's so many great attributes from this course, but those are some I'd, I'd really like to kind of hone in on. Yeah, this is definitely one of those rare undergraduate experiences that you can have that everything in the course that you can just apply it to whatever you go on to do which is what I really loved about it. Thanks all. None of them got paid by the way. So thank you for all your lovely comments. Um, I, just, I just wanted to add too that it's been such a pleasure for me being with you all, you know, and, and I wish we could actually be together. I, I'm in, you cannot tell, but I'm in an office that's a suite, that is the Goff Center suite. So once they, they sort of alluded to this and maybe russell or ethan might have mentioned but this isn't this is so much more than a class once you're a member of the golf community you're in the golf community as an alum you can come in we had someone from a class the other yesterday that was like can i just come work in the suite because they just needed someplace quiet to do class and so they just came in and you know distanced and safe and all the things but you know that's what we're about here is that this isn't something that you just come to twice a week and then, as Ethan sort of said, you forget about it after the semester is over. It's really about like, this is part of your network for life. And you never know what you're gonna do. You could be an anthropology major now that moves to business, an engineer that moves to higher education. Like you just don't know where life is gonna take you. And these are really pivotal moments when you're in your undergraduate career to, to be able to have on a, on a campus that has 30 some thousand students to find a place and a space for you where you can sort of, you know, I don't wanna say safe space because in a way, you know, taking risks and stuff is hard and isn't always safe, but where you can really grow and people are gonna very kindly push you to grow because they know it's what's best for you. And it's been really fun to see how people have pushed one another. So I, I, I'm going to sort of kind of ramble on here to see if there are any questions from Joseph. Oh, yay, I'm on mute. Nope, I do have a question. Can you hear me? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, so I'm just wondering about the 
class uh, structure, like uh, what should I be expecting we on a weekly basis? And like, uh, I, I heard Ethan said that the project is semester long, so we only work on one project or like how many companies do we get to work with and those kind of things, if you can explain it. Yeah, good question, thank you. So um, I so in online pedagogy, when you have an online class, it's really important to keep it really structured because it's hard, you know, with everything going on and asynchronous things and synchronous things. So this class is actually quite structured. So I showed those six principles of strategic leadership. So basically every Monday, you're engaging with one of those principles and having a speaker every Monday. And every Wednesday, we're kind of, there's a video that talks about those toolkits so that I'm not lecturing on because no one wants to sit on Zoom and have someone lecture at you for an hour. So you can, you get a video and then we kind of engage with that as a group on your projects so that you're able to, as much as I can, I try to give group time so that you know you're gonna have a little bit of group time each week. So that's what's kind of happening, you know, the two days of the week. We do one project because it is one semester versus Golf Scholars is two semesters where you can kind of fit in multiple projects, but uh, one thing I've sort of uh, toyed with is maybe doing a small case just to, so everyone can see the full cycle of a project and then a full project. But as some of the students mentioned, if you are spending that amount of time of a semester, you really get to know your client, really get to know your team, and you really work through stuff. And so that's why I focus on one because I think sometimes when you're doing a two-week project, like how much are you really getting into who this company is, what the market is, what the strategy is, you know, a lot of things change over time and I'm not sure you really get to settle into that if you try to do too much in such a short time. Does that answer your questions? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And one thing I didn't mention that I should, well, two things. One, Erin on this call is our wonderful administrative assistant in the center and she's kind of behind all the emails and all things off and makes everything happen. Um, so as you have questions and things, she's, she's a great person to know, but she reminded me that we have an advisor for each of the project teams too. So um, there's sort of a business coach or person that's more of your like regular weekly go-to. So in addition to having your classmates and having me, you have someone that may have a particular expertise in your area, just say who you have another person to go to. And also like speaking like on the projects like these projects are like essentially like what you make of them like you can you can get as much done like in the project as you want like it's just kind of like an endless like Ruchi kind of like set it up where it's like oh like this is like we're like this is who you're working with and like this is like what you can do to start but like it's up to you to like make the project your own like it's kind of intimidating at the beginning like not gonna lie like when my group started like we had no idea like what to do but like then like one of the guest speakers came in and I like, asked him like, so like when you're like working like on like a new project or like, or like a new client or something like, do you know like exactly what you're doing? And like, he's like, no, like for the most part, like a lot of it like comes down to like research and like what essentially like our goal is and like what we're going to do to get there. So I think that's like something that's like really different about like these projects is that it's like more real life, you know, like in, like in the real life like I guess most of the time like you're not going to be given like an objective I guess like you have an objective that you want to complete but like there's no framework there's nothing that like is like set in stone that like you have to like do so it's really cool to kind of like craft the project to like make it your group's own and to see like what happens like the more work you do. Thanks Russell. Thanks, and I can speak to that as well. Just kind of the benefits of having one project is like you're alluding to, Ruchi, is the really relationships you build with. So for ours, our advisor is Abby Ivory with the Ivory Foundation, the um, Ivory Homes, which is another just awesome connection to have. And having it be a semester project where you're, you're not necessarily rushed, but you're able to allow ideas to come organically where, you know, you're going to have the hard times of, you know, none of us have worked with companies before. And so you're kind of allowed to have those hard times and it really it's emphasized on how you recover from it when the weekly speakers come in and navigating the unknown. You're in that situation a lot. And having that just kind of one contact, that one company to work with throughout the entire semester, just a, a lot of benefits come through that. Like, I mean, with the company I've been working on with the Trailblazer program, um, in New York, I've developed a good relationship with the co-founder. We met each other on LinkedIn occasionally and send articles. 
and just kind of stuff like that that comes from just having this opportunity of three months working with them is just really cool and again just a really unique experience you can't get elsewhere last thing really fast i just thought of um so i originally was supposed to be in golf scholars which is like the four-year program and then um it didn't work out because my intern i had an internship in the summer and then it got canceled and postponed to the spring so i had to do the half year program so i was in trailblazers by accident but i would say i think i'm glad i did this because i think if i've gotten more benefit just working with the same team on one thing the whole time because it really forces you to one, figure out how to work in a team of different people for a long period. It's not just like a one week project. It's a whole semester project, which, is, which we have kind of emphasized. Um, but also if you're busy, like Richie gives you the time to really like do a good job. Like you never feel like necessarily rushed because you have a whole semester to figure it out. So if you have a busy schedule, like you're working multiple jobs, like this class is totally doable. Like I've never felt like too overwhelmed. And if I did, I could always reach out to Richie and say, hey, like, I need help with this or go to my team and be like, can someone cover this? So you always feel supported. Um, and it's never like a very like high pressure, high stake situation. It's more about like the process of learning. So if you're like worried about like having a huge time commitment, yes, it's a commitment, but it's totally doable. Also like going back to like to the team things, like you can like totally rely like on your teammates to like complete work that like you had like are not able to like, I remember there's like this like one week that like literally like everything like piled onto this one week and it was like my turn to like take the lead but like I was just like able to like communicate with that with like my team and they're like oh like don't even worry about it like just like take like the next week like we'll like help you like we'll help like pick up your slack and to me that's like something that like you don't get very often I mean like especially like if you're working on like a really basic team like I don't know how to say basic but like like a regular team, like for like a regular class, they'll just be like, oh, like that's tough. Like either figure it out or like, it's like, it's on you, you know, like, but like that's like completely different with this. And, and like going back to like to the project, like it is a long project. So it gives you like a lot of time to like think about it. I know like for me, like during one of my interviews, I was talking about like my project specifically. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like working like with like the Utah Inland Port and I'm like researching like L3 Harris, like looking for like gaps in like the supply chain and stuff. And the guy who was interviewing me, he's like, oh, well, like, I've, like, talked to someone about, like, L3 Harris. And, like, he, like, gave me, like, a little insight, which kind of allowed us, like, we kind of, like, changed, like, the direction of our project a little bit. Just, like, based on that feedback, because it just, like, got the gears running, you know. So, it's kind of cool how, like, everything, like, ties together. Yeah, and one more point I wanted to make. Layla mentioned this earlier, but just really the kind of self-assessment and evaluation you have on yourself with, working on one team throughout the entire semester in one project is you can't in a lot of situations where you have a project that's only a month or a couple of weeks you don't really find out a lot about yourself it's not as dynamic things are very straightforward with a semester length project you have a lot of different things coming at you every week every month and you really learn teamwork you learn how to deal with situations unknown situations or you get, like Russell was just saying, new information, how do you adapt that into your project? And there's just so many of these cool benefits of with teamwork and just the project itself and just kind of learning how you can really effectively work with other people, which I mean, that's gonna be our careers is working on projects. So finding how best you can communicate your ideas and just basically yourself is a, just be your genuine self while still gaining those, uh, those results. I just wanted to hone in on that point of support because yeah, I've never taken a course with such, you know, a supportive team, a supportive network of people. Like Ruchi's um, our team's advisor and there was a brief stint during a move where I just didn't have internet and there were so many like problems and Ruchi was like, oh, do you want to, you know, come and use the internet in the golf building? Like totally, you know, supportive. I told my team that, you know, the work being done during that week where I didn't have it, um, you know, wouldn't be the best. So they were like, is there anything you need us to do? Is like, you, <laughs> would you like to, you know, use my internet? You know, it's it's just so supportive. Thanks, Ayla. You wouldn't have known. You were such a champ.
through it all. Um, I would, I know we've got the poor person waiting for your question. I just wanted to add one more comment that the way I see this class is because I see it as a community and a lifelong community of learners, it's about you and your whole self. It's not just about a certain assignment or a certain grade or this semester. It's like, to Layla's point to me, like you can't learn if you've got stuff going on at home or you've got stuff in your household or your family or community, like it, to try and completely ignore that and then say, hey, but come on Zoom because I've got strategic leadership to teach you. It's just not realistic. And it's, I try to sort of be as real world as possible. And that means actually the real world, not not some fake real world of what work looks like in, in, in a simulation. It means that it's, it really is your whole self. And so I, um, you know, in some cases that means these folks have seen me in some situations that have been a great semester for me in some ways either. And so being able to share what's going on um, with ourselves. And I think we're able to help each other out, able to get to the places that we're trying to get to versus if we tried to pretend those things weren't existing in our lives and we're just kidding ourselves and we're not ever going to actually grow and develop in the ways that we're really genuinely intending to. So um, I would just add that to, to what everyone else is saying. And then we have a question and please help me say your name correctly. Oh, hello. Uh, my, my name is Avila. Avila. Yeah, um, I just have uh, one question. Um, so you mentioned as earlier that um, uh, for this program, is a similar like you're taking one classes or one elective for the entrepreneurship major or minor. And so uh, with that being said, um, does it count as a GPA or how's the grading system works uh, on this program? Or is it? Yeah, I mean, it works as so as same as all the Eccles classes, they have, um, hopefully I'm answering your question if I'm not, tell me and I, I can get a better, better answer for you. But the, in the David Eccles School of Business, there's a grading policy that we, yes, there's a GPA. So it is a four credit class, but based on the, like the level, so this is a 5,000 level class, then there's a certain GPA range, which is relatively high when you get to a 5,000 level. But they, we are actually just voted on increasing and changing the grading policy a little bit. So um, if, if you wanted, I could email you what that's going to be, but it's slightly higher. So I would say, you know, three something is the, is going to be the average. Um, and uh, at this point, we haven't had anybody take it credit, no credit, but as these guys know, I'm very flexible to asking their questions and making things work for folks. So if, um, you know, I have to follow the university policies. But if there was if there was something that people wanted to try and do to make this class work for their um, their needs in the institution, I'm happy to look into that. All right. Yeah, good question. Other questions about the course projects? I have a question. So you said that the class is pretty small. So is it pretty competitive to get in? Like, are there a lot of people that are applying? And yeah, you know, it, it depends. I think for the fall, that's like the main time. We probably had a, almost like 100 applicants, Erin. And we ultimately, you know, so, so I think the fall is the bigger push. I would say for spring and given COVID, we've, we've seen fewer applications because I think it's just a crazy time, to be honest. But that really doesn't change kind of the bar. Like, try to, um, you know, the, the short answer questions that are in the application are really meant to get after how people would do in this class to not only make sure that they would be successful, but as you've heard from the students here, so much of the learning is also happening with each other. So that we wanna make sure it's not only are you, do you, you know, are you capable of being successful in the class, but also are you able to contribute to others? that are in the class as well. So it's this is the first time we run it, this particular class. So I'll, after a couple semesters, have a better answer to that question, but that's kind of where we stand right now. Okay, thank you. Other things? I appreciate all the, the questions and the comments from folks. Okay, well, I would, oh, I had a whole reading rainbow slide I forgot to share that was a, does anybody know reading rainbow? That was going to say, you don't have to take my word for it, and then move to the panel. Missed opportunity. But I would just invite you all that are here. I know some of you have already applied. 
um, to share this, you know, share about the program with your friends, a lot of times word of mouth. So if you, if, if you, I mean, if you've appreciated what you've heard today and feel like you would like to share it, I would invite you to please do so. Uh, because there's so much that we're, the Goff Center is, is really has giant aspirations of being the leadership center on campus and helping all students at the University of Utah to have the experiences like these four students have had. So I would really invite you to share. There is still time to apply. Um, and if you have any questions, the email address, oh, thank you, Erin, that's the link to the application. And then our email is goffslc at, at utah.edu, I think would, would work. I guess like something to like, like my like, kind of like closing remarks is like this class, like it's like, or I guess like this whole program, like the Goff Strategic Leadership Program, like it's well known, like people like know about it. Like I know like with like Layla, when she like, got her internship, they're like, oh, like you're part of like the Goff like Trailblazers cohort, like that, like that's perfect. Like, and like a lot of the speakers that like, come in and I've talked to like, I've heard other speakers for like other programs and they're like, oh yeah, like being part of like the golf trails or golf uh, strategic leadership program like has like completely like changed my life. Like there's so many like great experiences you can get, great people that you can meet and just all around like, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, and kind of to add on just for your closing remarks, I mean, this class is just super gratifying. I mean, there's Caitlin, Russ, Layla and myself who we're all just students uh, in this program. And yet here we are just endorsing it as much as we can because how much it's affected our life. Like you're not going to find that off of a finance 30, 40 class or something like that. This is one that will actually have just real implications really on your life. I mean, who knows? I could be working with Russ in 15 years and say, hey, how's your Goldman experience? <laughs> like, and just kind of follow up for, this is like a lifelong thing. You're a part of the Goff family kind of forever. And I mean, this is just going to continue to grow and grow. And I mean, this is just a really cool opportunity to, to really go for. And I would just recommend anyone who's watching this video or those that are here to just go for it. I mean, it's, it's, it'll be worth really every second of your time. And I can't really name something more gratifying in my coll collegiate experience so far. Thanks, Ethan. Well, I don't think I can do any better to wrap up than that, unless there are any other final thoughts. Thank you so much for being here and for spending the time. And again, we'll share this out on all our channels that we're, we're able to. And please, if you're, if you're willing and, and um, interested to share it with others, we're just trying to make sure that people have the opportunity to opt in if they want to. We know it's hard to break through the noise of all the university communications and the probably five emails you received today. So to the extent that you can help us out with that, we'd really appreciate it. Any other questions, just let us know. And thank you for being here. And thanks for our panelists, appreciate you. Sweet, and then we can also like drop like our emails like in the, in the chat. If you guys like wanna reach out, if you have any like questions about like the application or like the prompts that you have to do, like they're honestly like not that bad. Like they just want like, we just want to know like how you guys think, you know, like your thought process. At least that's how it was for me. I don't know how, if it's changed or not, but yeah, just feel free to reach out. Thanks, Russell. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good luck with finals and all the last projects and things. Almost there. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone.